butterflies are predominantly known for their undeniable grace and beauty. Many caterpillars, on the other hand, are known for their countless acts of coercion, identity fraud, and forced labor. Needless to say, it's a lot less flattering. The blue butterfly begins its life as a small defenseless caterpillar, as most butterflies do. But while other caterpillars may employ the use of poisonous hairs or unappealing spikes as a defense measure, the blue butterfly uses a more devious tactic. You see, a few raspy clicks is all that it takes to convince the local anthills that this undercover caterpillar is actually an overgrown ant grub. One that they're more than willing to take back to their densely defended burrow, where she's given free reign of the place and allowed to eat basically whatever she wants. Up to and including the other ant grub, since our metamorphic war criminal is not masquerading as any old baby, but as a full-blown queen. And not only is she allowed to eat the bugs, she's often encouraged to. If times get rough enough, most ants will willingly feed themselves and and their children to their beloved monarch, even if the monarch in question is actually a deceptive infant. So yeah, in case you were wondering, between the identity theft, usurping of the throne, and countless other crimes, the Blue Butterfly's prison sentence would look something like 35 years behind bars, a thousand dollar fine, and both a life and death sentence. But while most caterpillars can get by without committing any crimes at all, mimicry is still a pretty common technique. The Hogmoth caterpillar, for example, is an adorable little fellow that looks exactly like, you guessed it, a snake. And I mean exactly like a snake. I mean, look at this thing. It's indistinguishable. I was so impressed, in fact, I wound up disappointing myself when I saw the full-grown moth. I was thinking of all the cool ways a moth's eye spots could evolve into some genuinely impressive camouflage, but no. It's just a regular moth. Clearly the world's not ready for my vision. But one bug that certainly did live up to my expectations was the land lobster, or if you prefer, the acid-spitting land lobster from hell. But if hell's a little out of the way, then don't worry, you can just go to Texas. Or Florida, for that matter, but that goes without saying. Anyway, the land lobster is a scuttling tank of an animal, with a thick exoskeleton, two pincers, and a long whip-like tail. Which has led to a common alias for this thing being the whip scorpion. But unlike most scorpions, they aren't venomous. Instead, they spit a fine mist of acid out from the tips of their tails, and directly into the eyes of their adversaries. An acid so potent it's said to be nearly 16 times stronger than vinegar. So, if you're bigger than a spider, and I assume most of you are, then it's gonna sting, but you'll probably make it out alive. But regardless, this vinegar-based concoction has led to its other common alias, the vinegaroon. A lot of people have also mentioned how it kinda looks like a land-dwelling mantis shrimp, which of course has led to its other other alias, the grampus, which is itself an alias of the aforementioned mantis shrimp. Is that enough aliases for you guys? No? Good, cause I got more. But moving on from one arachnid to another, let's talk about cannibalistic spiders. This particular group is actually pretty expansive, containing everything from vampire spiders to black widows to the ominously named common house spider. But the one I want to talk about is the adorable little Porsche spider. This cannibalistic cutie belongs to a species of jumping spider, and is by far one of the most intelligent arthropods. Though I'm not sure how earned this accomplishment actually is, considering it kills most of its competition, but I suppose all is fair in love and spider hunting. Regardless, it often uses a strategy that's almost poetic, in a way, using the very same web that its intended prey calls home, by plugging the strings and mimicking the sounds of a struggling fly, male spider, or Peter Parker's hand. Just anything the spider may have an interest in biting. Having successfully lulled her victim into a false sense of security, Portia then hops on the spider's back and simply bites it to death. Which is a lot less subtle than everything that came before, but I guess it gets the job done. But while the Porsche spider achieves its goal through speed and intelligence, the assassin spider uses a more brute force approach to the delicate art of spider hunting. They possess a wide array of adaptations, completely unique to them, from long spiked mouth parts to two well-developed and forward-facing eyes and a long crooked neck. But while these bizarre adaptations may have made the spider assassin a master at assassinating spiders, the end result is something that looks nothing like a spider and certainly not an assassin, which has led to yet another alias, the pelican spider. Told you I had more. This video was made possible in large part through the help of my Discord server, who brought a whole host of cool and interesting bugs to my attention. Specifically Osha, who told me about the land lobster, and Sir, who showed me the snake-headed caterpillar. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today, but let's talk about last week's Florsh Finders. It was actually a pretty historic event, with 404 Air, an old series champion, unofficially coming out of retirement and finding every single Florsh before the CZ Afton guy even had a chance to look. But many of those Florshes were first found by Skittle660, a first-time player whose debut game shows some great potential. Alongside Max from my Discord server and Baby Shippy, who I believe was the only one to find this flourish on the bulldozer's flag. Then we have Azuria, who I'm sure would have found a couple, but she was far too sleepy to even try. Big mood. 
Anyway, if you find any flourishes in this video, then let me know in the comments down below or on my Discord server. Link in the description. And until next time, don't die. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very sick and I'm tired of talking. See you later. Oh, they're gonna break it east. Yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, they're both gonna fall down. Oh, or not. That's fine too. That's sad. That'd be a funnier video. <laughs> it would be, yeah. Spartan kicked that house. Oh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs>